this video I'm going to show that if A is upper triangular or even lower triangular then the determinant of A is just a product of the element excuse me product of the entries on their diagonal okay, you just multiply the entries on the diagonal and you have the determinant now for the proof let's use definitions a is upper triangular that means the following it means that you get aij if i if i is less than or equal to j and you get zero if i is bigger than j so whenever i is bigger than j you're gonna get zero now in the you may not have to write this but in the determinant the determinant of a by definition is the summation of plus or minus a i I take that back, A1, J1, A, A1, J1 times A2, J2, all the way up to A, N, J sub N. Now, let us look at one of these. Now, so let's write this down. Let's consider a1 j1 all the way down to a and jn remember this is a summation under all permutations of 1 through n j1 j2 up to jn is one such permutation of 1 through n okay now this here will equal zero well let's say when it won't equal zero so this will n this will not be zero if and only if all the i's are less than j this i is less than that j this i is less than that j they're all less than if and only if you know one is less than or equal to j1 two is less than or equal to j2 all the way down to n is less than or equal to j sub n now this is only gonna happen this this here remember j1 j1 j2 all the way down to jn are the numbers 1 through n the only way 1 will be less than this number and 2 will be less than that number and n will be less than that number is if and only if 1 is equal to j1 2 is equal to j2 all the way down to n is equal to jn that's the only one that's not going to be equal so what we have here is that the determinant of a is the summation over all permutations plus or minus a1 j1 a2 j sub 2 all the way down to a sub n j sub n but most of these will have at least one zero remember this is a product if any one of these are zero then the whole product is zero okay the only way the only way one of these is not zero is if and only if this which means if and only if that okay that is this is just going to be no summation it's going to be a11 a12 all the way down to a sorry 
A22 all the way down to ANN, just the diagonal entries, just their diagonal entries. And I do have one little typo. It's not a typo yet. There should be a plus and minus in front. Okay, now let's decide. See, now this is now, well, that's the product of the diagonal entries, but what's this plus or minus? We just want the plus. Well, let us look at the number one. Are there any numbers after one that are less than one? No, so no one versions. Are there any numbers to the right of two that are less than two? No. Because to the right of 2 or 3 and 4 and 5 up to n. They're all bigger than 2. When it comes to A33, the any column values bigger than, sorry, less than 3. No. To the right of 3. Are there any values le less than 3? No. They're all bigger than 3. When it comes to the last one, I mean, there are no values to the left of n to be less than n. So, we just keep the plus. So, it does turn out that if you have upper triangular or lower triangular, that the determinant, the determinant of a, it equals this, which equals that, which equals that which ultimately equals this, which is the product of the entries of the diagonal elements of A. This, that's all we needed to show. That completes this proof. Tell your friends about my channel. If you love videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Most of all, watch and learn. See you in the next video.